City residents say there's a growing need for public restrooms to be added to parks across the city of Charleston, similar to the public restroom built on James Island back in 2019. News 2's Riley Benson joins us live from Ferguson Park on James Island. And Riley, city officials hope the restroom can serve as a template for other public restrooms across the city, but it does come with a large price tag. Yes, yeah, Sophia, this public restroom you can see behind me, the Portland Loo, is the first of its kind for the city of Charleston. It was built two years ago back in 2019. It came with a hefty price tag at $125,000. Despite that price tag, city officials say it provided a needed solution to a problem they were seeing in the city, and now city residents say it's time to build more of these public restrooms at parks across the city of Charleston. The Portland Loo is a steel rounded public restroom that can be quickly and easily built to serve the need for a public restroom. Charleston City Councilman William Dudley Gregory led the initiative to bring this one to James Island back in 2019 and now residents say the need for more Portland Loo's is growing. Director of Parks and Capital Projects for the City of Charleston Jason Kronzberg says despite the high cost the toilet has served an efficient solution and believes it can be a template for more public restrooms at city parks. Steve Bailey an east side resident is hopeful city leaders agree with the need, especially in Hampstead Mall Park. I had a city official over here. We sat on the park bench and we're talking about what we want in the uh, park. And he says, Steve, why do we need a bathroom? It's expensive, you know. Why do we need a bathroom? I mean, it was like almost the second he said it, some guy came over and peed on the oak tree as we were sitting there. I said, question, uh, ask and answer. And you know what? Uh, he now wants a bathroom here. Now, in addition to the need for a public restroom, Bailey says residents from the east side neighborhood have raised $7,000 from donors to make other improvements to the park, including raising the Philip Simmons statue and adding more flowers for curb appeal. For now, reporting live from James Island, Riley Benson, count on two.